a, a better name for that one. Um, all right, bands on. Yesterday we had a bicep tricep focus. Today we are having a chest focus. Uh, you may hate me after this one, but it's simple. It's going to be hard, and we're going to do great. So first order of business, let's make sure we have our bands on correctly. Um, I know yesterday we did really well with our arm bands, um, but our, some of our leg bands seemed a little bit loose. So let's just check our bands together, that one finger of space. Um, if you had the opportunity to tighten your bands a bit without it feeling too intense, do that now. Nice. Good. And let's go ahead and come on up to stand. So our first 30 seconds, and we go ahead and start our cycle, are going to be a shoulder stretch. We're going to do four rounds of that, and then we're going to do four rounds of single arm circles, and then we're going to get into the meat of our workout, which is eight rounds of push-ups. Now, we'll take them slow, so that'll only be like a couple push-ups each round. It's gonna be intense. I have no doubt that we're gonna do fabulously. Let me angle that up a bit just for the start of this. All right, there we go, that's better. So, let's go ahead and start left hand between the shoulder blades, right hand comes up and back behind you. We've got 30 seconds, just stretch and hold. And we're doing four rounds of this, continuing to press the back of the head into the top arm. Just open the shoulders up a bit. Awesome. Boom. So just letting the bands starting to work do their magic. Doesn't matter if you can touch your hands or not. Continuing to press the arms up and back. Breathe into it. Good. Last 10. And then we'll switch. All right. Go ahead and release that stretch. Other side, right hand between the shoulder blades. Reach the left arm up and back. 30 seconds, shoulder stretch, other side. And you can continue to work the hands towards each other as the shoulders open up. Awesome. Good. Maybe releasing any tricep pain we might have left over from yesterday. Last 10 seconds, and then we'll do our third and fourth cycle. Go ahead and release it. And third cycle, left hand between the shoulder blades, right hand reaches up and back. And you can kind of work this right hand up the back of the spine to make your way into it. Good. Starting to feel the bands working. Maybe growing a little bit taller, pressing that back elbow back. We've got 10 seconds, then we'll switch. Go ahead and release it. Last round of shoulder stretch. Good. So it's a simple set of moves. We also have only one exercise we're doing for the bulk of the lower body as well. It's gonna be incredibly tough. But nothing that we can't handle. You do as much as you can. And then you stop when you need to. Good. Last five. And release it. I'm going to do the next four rounds on my knees just so you can really see my arms. Next 30 seconds. Left arm across the body, leading with a thumb. Right arm reaches straight up. Rotate pinky finger back. Bring it all the way back and around. I'll rotate to this side so you can see. Moving through a range of motion in the shoulder, also getting a nice stretch across the chest. I recommend going slowly. Good, just as slowly as we would any of our other exercises that we're doing for our warm up. Last five, four, three, two, and switch. Right arm across the body, left arm is doing the work. 30 seconds, leading with the thumb, bring it all the way up. Rotate pinky finger back, bring it all the way around and through. Make as big of a circle as you can. Good, warming up the shoulder, the chest, the whole upper body. Last 10. I'm starting to see some veins showing, five. 
four, three, two. Seven cycles. Here we go. Leading with the right hand. Thumb up, 30 seconds, all the way. Slowly work it back and around. Nice. Keep moving. I like to spread my fingers really wide. Try and take as much bend out of the elbow as you can, making the muscles of the arm work for you. Last 10. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. Eighth and final cycle of our warm up. Let's go. I like to spread my fingers really wide, activating those forearm muscles. That's the stuff. Good. And for our meat of our workout, I do not expect everyone to complete eight cycles of push ups. If we have our bands on accordingly and we're working to the level of effort that I want to see, you should max out about halfway done. And that's okay. We're just seeing the limit of what's possible today. Good rest. All right. Start to make your way down onto your floor space. The pace for our push-ups is slow. Think down for a count of three and up for a count of three. You can always do them on your knees. Set your cycle accordingly. We want these tough, okay? Why do eight full cycles if you can get the full benefit just from doing six? Keep that in mind. First 30 seconds. Step yourself back into plank. Here we go. Down, two, three, up, two, three. Think about working the muscles as you lower down and also squeezing, contracting the chest, the triceps as you press back up. So we're not only working the muscles as we push, think about pulling yourself into that push-up using the shoulders, the tribe. Good, last three two, and rest. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. 10 seconds. Then we're going to take our second round. See if you can go even slower. Step back into plank. Next set in three, two, one. Down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. I pull my body down, and I push my body back up, getting these concentric and eccentric movements. Nice game. Mm -hmm. Last five, four, three, two, rest. Good job. <laughs> so that's our second set. We have six more. You can always skip one. That's the best part. We're going again. In three, two, step back into plank. 30 seconds. Here we go. Down. Two, three, four. Up. Two, three, four. Nice. Good. Last 10. Great, Lily. Five, four, three, two, rest. Awesome. I know. I see people like, ah, that was three. After this next one, we'll be half done. If you need to take a stretch, quick, take a quick stretch. Fourth set. Make your way into plank. 30 seconds. In three, two, one. Down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. If you need to pause and plank and take fewer rounds, that's okay. Keep the form strong. Amazing. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, to rest. Kayleen, great job. Okay, so we're half done. 
Maybe that only means one more in your next set. And I know I encourage you guys to stop and be backing down. That's because we want to be putting in so much effort into our reps that we're not able to do more. Let's make more out of our time, okay? Fifth step, make your way into plank. Step it back in three, two, one. Here we go. Down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. That's a step. Woo. Mm -hmm. Half done. Maybe you only do one more in this round. Last 10. Four, three, two, rest. <laughs> All right. Round six. Make your way into plank. We're going in three, two, one. Down, two, three, four. Up, two, three, four. Awesome. Nice. After this, we only have two more sets. And then we're done with our whole workout. Mm -hmm. Last five. Four, three, two, rest. Amazing. <laughs> two more sets. It's really just, if you think about it, eight cycles. It's just four minutes of work for the entire upper body. All right. Here we go. Seven sets. We're going in three, two, one, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Especially if you're staying in plank, make sure your form is still good. Hips and shoulders stay in one line. You don't want to let the hips sag and fall getting into the lower back. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Give me one more, only one more, if you're still moving. Four, three, two, rest. I saw a couple of people skip this round. I love that. That means we're doing the most with the work that we're doing. All right, final set of the day. All right, let's come into plank. Good. We're going in three, two, one, if you want to take an even slower pace, you can. Play with this one. It's yours. Make the most of all of the movements. Good. Not only that whoosh, push up, but maybe even slower on the way down. Great. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and done. That's the meat of our workout. All right, come on up. We have four rounds of cross-body reach just to open everything up. We're doing this fast, okay? We got four rounds of that, four rounds of, or two rounds of shoulder shrug, and two cycles of just chest stretch, okay? First set, cross-body reach, three, two, one. You're going side to side, fast. Yeah, bands are flying. We're breaking up lactic acid. That's it. Woo. Nice. Have them. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, rest. I got to strap my bands down. They're flying all around. All right. Shake it out. Second set, let's go. Good, maybe get the core involved, really deep in that twist. Over, over, over. Awesome. Whew. Break up, move around that lactic acid. Last dead. Five, four, three, two, rest. We have two more sets, and then we get to do shoulder shrugs 
and a nice stretch. Third set, go. Yeah, that's it. I'm imagining that I'm grabbing something. Woo, there we go, last 10. Five, four, three, two, one, release. We have one more round. Fourth set, go. Nice. Almost done with our upper body work. Last 10. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Next two cycles are shoulder shrugs. 30 seconds. Let's do it. Moving them around. Mm -hmm. And I want you to move slowly through these ones and really work through that full range of motion of the shoulders, helping to open up the chest. Okay. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, rest. One more round. Ooh, you don't have to do the shimmy. Final set of shoulder shock. Let's go. And I'm doing my best not to let the rest of my body move, only really getting into the shoulders. My arms are building a little bit of heat. Great. Last 10. Hands are doing the work. Five, four, three, two, rest. Last two cycles. All we have to do, similar to bicep stretch, actually same as bicep stretch, just with a different purpose, chest stretch. First cycle, go for it. Open up the chest, especially after we worked it with all those push-ups. The only thing we have to do here is continue to pull the arms up and off the body. Nice. And breathe. You want to do that too. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, release. Our 24th cycle of our workout, 30 seconds. Clasp the hands. Here we go. I keep my cycle going. Good. If you can straighten your arms here, keep lifting them up, pulling the shoulders back. None of this, none of this. Last 10. Good. Get them up even higher. Five. Four, three, two, we're done. Upper body complete. All right, Steve, I turn it over to you. Thank you very much. I have two questions for everybody. Um, just unmute yourself and tell me. First question is, how do you make that workout easier? And secondly, how do you make that workout harder? There's no right answer. It's just your opinion. Um, for the push-ups to make them easier during one of the rounds, I went on my knees and just did like um, those kind of push-ups on your knees. And mm -hmm. then the harder, I did slower on the regular push-ups. Oh, good job. Thank you. And and I would agree that that's that would be my answer too. Okay. Me too. I, I went on my knees when it was too hard. I'd like to get to the place where I can stay in plank the whole time. So that's my challenge. Got it. Thank you. My challenge was more my wrist to get sore, so I actually had to get one of my grips to do the, to do the um, uh, push-up with. Okay. And that, <clears> makes, it, also, that makes it doable? The, uh, uh, it, it, it was better. I okay. feel tired. So I could have also, I was on medium. I could have taken it down to low, 
Okay. All right, good. All right, thank you. Um, and I, I also want to remind everybody when you're doing the legs, um, to properly put on the leg bands, you should be sitting down, preferably on a chair um, or in Laurel's case on the floor. Uh, and then um, really tighten the bands down. It's, it's almost impossible to have these bands act as a, a tourniquet on your legs. So you want to actually stretch the bands um, uh, pretty, pretty tightly, put them down, and then let the, let the do both bands, and then go back and undo the Velcro. And then if you want, you can tighten them just a little bit more. So quite often we, uh, to get a really good uh, leg workout, we need to put these um, a little bit tighter than probably you, you would like. Of course, we always keep the, the uh, protocol of having, you know, the pink tone to our, our extremities. And George said, uh, you could also raise, raise up on a table to make it easier and vice versa with your legs to make it harder. And that's referring to the, the previous question. Good job, Kayleen. That's, that's exactly what you wanna be doing. Okay. Yeah. Perfect, Jeff. Yeah. Did, do you feel that additional tightness there? In, in some ways, it's a, you, you, some, some people feel a little bit weird walking around, but then, um, and then also, uh, let's see. Um, I can't really see on laurels, but um, you want it to be curved up. You want the outer, the band on the outside to be slightly at an angle upwards. Yes, very much like Diane's doing. Perfect. All right, all right, Laurel, go ahead. Hey, so Steve? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's still the old John Doolittle, put them on once, go to the edge of the chair, strap yes. them down really tightly, one finger underneath, not two. Right. Um, but like, Again, one finger that maybe isn't tight enough, and then I think uh, I would ask for more time as we're switching our bands to you know really dial in the leg yep. bands because I'm behind on that. Yeah, yeah. We can also go through putting the leg bands on together because I always have to switch out my bands too, so <laughs> can always take some extra time to do that. I need to get pink pants so that my yeah. clothes still match my bands, but you can see my leg band yeah. on my pants. <laughs> All right. We'll give everyone an extra moment uh, to get situated and I'll just demonstrate what we're doing to start. So we're doing four rounds of active hamstring stretch. You're going all the way down or as low as you can all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. Then we're doing our hamstring curl four rounds. We're gonna do two on one leg and then two on the other, back to back, as we learned yesterday, best practices. And then we're doing eight rounds. Oh goodness, here we go, of Cossack squat. So getting as low as you can, and pressing back up. Now, I'd like to revisit the way I demonstrated that. Getting as low as you can. So finding that resistance in your quad as you lower down and finding the resistance in your glute as you press back up. So notice that work, not only in the one muscle, but also in the front side of the leg as you lower into it and the back side as you press back up. So everything is working together and we're getting the maximal benefit. And then we'll do our worm down after that. So first four rounds, we have 30 seconds of active hamstring stretching. And I'd like you to take note of how deep, how low 
into your hamstring stretch you're able to get and kind of use that as a marker and indicator of where you are now versus maybe where you might be in like a month or so. So always nice to track metrics, whether they're strength or flexibility. So first 30 seconds for cycle of four, we are going. We come down as low as we can into it. You can keep a bend in your knees if you want for this one. And then we roll all the way back up. Mm -hmm. And we want to do this one slowly and really work deeper and deeper into that stretch each time we come down and allow the spine to straighten slowly as we roll back up. Last 10, maybe one more round. And three, two, and one. First cycle, done. We're doing the same thing for three more. All right, second cycle, here we go. Rolling into it. Letting the head hang, rolling back up. Nice. Uh, last 10, maybe one more. And you can always step your feet wider than hip distance to give you a little bit more stable base, should you so choose, and rest. So I have my feet about hip distance. Feel free to take them a bit wider as well. That's totally fine. Third cycle, let's go. Rolling down. Letting the back of the neck be long and coming all the way back up. Good. Last 10. And we'll meet. Standing in three, two, and one. All right, we've got one more round of these. And then we'll move on to our hamstring curl. Last 30 seconds, here we go. Great. And last 10. And we'll meet standing. All right. Option to take hands to a chair, a wall, or the hip. First set of hamstring curls. We are working the left leg. We're doing cycles five and six with the left leg, and then seven and eight with the right. First 30 seconds, here we go. Left leg, hamstring curls. Let's take them very slowly. Your choice whether you wanna go full range of motion or whether you wanna to start to challenge that muscle even more and keep them at 90 or smaller. Okay, nice and slowly, last 10. Making sure the knees stay in line. We have four, three, two, and rest. Same side for our sixth cycle. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Up two, down two is the pace that I'm going at. Mm -hmm. Right. Last 10, and we're going to work into the right side. We have four, three, two, and rest. Going into the right side. 
pulling the knees in line. 30 seconds. Here we go. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Mm -hmm. Good. See if you can grow a little bit taller from the top of your head so we don't slouch out in any way. We have five, four, three, two, rest. Right leg again, and then we're going to eight rounds of combat squats. Ah, yes. All right. Here we go. Last cycle of our warm up. Here we go. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down. Two. Awesome. Last 10. We have four, three, two, and rest. All right. Round number nine through 16. We're going Cossack squat, resisting in the quad on the way down and the glute on the way up. So paying attention to both of those muscles. And before we start, make sure your bands are tight enough, okay? We've gotten some time to work into them in our warm up. If you think you might want to tighten them a bit more, now's your shot. First 30 seconds, Cossack squats. We're going side to side in three, two, one, start to lower, think down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, other side, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, keep working through it. Nice. If you can, take it even slower. Get even lower. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. Quick rest, and we're going right into our second set. In three, two, one. See if you can pick your count, work into it. Resist. Quad, 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 quad. Pause. Glute, glute. Glute, glute, glute. Mm -hmm. And as I press myself up to stand, I'm really rooting through the heel, squeezing every muscle of the leg. And maybe you even do it keeping a bend in the legs the whole time. Good, last 10. We have five, four, three, two, one, come on up. That was set number two, okay? We're gonna take two more sets in the same fashion. And then the final four sets, we're gonna work one side, one side, then the other side, the other side. Next 30 seconds, three, two, one. Work in that quad, squeeze, 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 burn it out, hold, find your glutes. Press, press all the way up. Other side, quad, all the way down. Find that stopping point at the bottom. Hold, squeeze, press all the way back up. Keep moving through it. Last 10. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, rest. Great job. Third set. We only have two more of these going side to side. Then we're going single side all out. 30 seconds. Here we go. See if you can work into it. Deeper range. Maybe even hold at the bottom. Squeeze like crazy. Give it a couple seconds there. And then start to work your way back up. So in this round, see if you can give me a little bit bigger pause at the bottom, contracting every muscle you can find in your body, and then make your way back through it. Amazing. Last six. Five, four, three, two, 
One, come on up, good job. Final round, going side to side. Here we go. Three, two, one. 30 seconds, play with it, work it down. Slower, slower, slower. Yes, hold. Now, all the way back up. Mm -hmm. Woo, love it, half done. Awesome. Last five, four, three, two, rest. All right, this next round, we're only working into the left leg, okay? We have left leg, left leg, right leg, right leg. If you can, I want you to try not to lock out your legs. So similar to what we did yesterday with our squat. Take a little bend in your left knee, 30 seconds, here we go. Down. Two, three, four, five. Hold it. Two, three, four, five. Up. Two, three, four, five. Keep going. Yes. Last ten. We have five, four. Three, two, one. Come on up. Okay. Second final set on only this leg. Bend the knee. Here we go. As slowly as you can. Take it down. See, hold nice and slowly. Press back up. Try not to lock out that leg back into it, drop down. Maybe you work into an even smaller range of motion at the bottom. Yes, good, keep that leg bent, awesome. Half done. Whew. Six, five, four, three, two, rest. Great, all right, now let's give the right leg some love. Here we go. Bend into that knee without letting it fully lock out. 30 seconds. Here we go. For five. Down. Two, three, four, five. Hold. Two, three, four, five. Up. Two, three. Don't let it straighten. Keep it up. Oh, yes. Squeeze your glute leg heck. Last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. We have one more side. Yeesh, then we get to warm it down. All right. Final set. Here we go. Step those feet wide. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, bend that leg, don't let it straighten. Maybe work only into the space at the bottom. Little up, resist down. Don't let your quad give up. Make it work for you as you lower into it. Half done. Bonnie, Diane, Jeff, George, fantastic. Lily's got it, Kayleen, Jim, amazing. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, to warm down, we have four rounds of air squats. We're going fast, we're breaking everything up. More squats, what? Yes. Then we have two rounds of hip circles and two rounds of just a good, nice stretch, okay? And by hip circles, I mean like we're doing this, <laughs> okay? Four rounds, air squats, 30 seconds, move fast, let's go. Good, keep it up. Nice, awesome. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, rest. Great, you can kick it around, keep it moving. Second set, three, two, one, go. 
I like to take my arms out. You can do whatever you want with your hands, your choice. Just keep going fast, fast, fast. Yes. Woo, Kayleen, get it, girl. Half done. Nice, Bonnie. Good. Oh, Jeff, I didn't tell you you were doing great before. You're doing great. Good. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, rest. Half done with our air squats. Good. Keep it moving if you can. Third set. Four, three, two, let's go. Still don't want to compromise our form, though. Looking great. Mm -hmm. Nice. Woo! Keep going, keep going, keep going. Last 10. Then we have one more round. Five, four, three, two, rest. Woo! All right. Last set. Three. Two, one, get it. Legs are probably feeling pretty tired. I love it. And I'm curious to hear everyone's feedback too. Half done. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, Rest. All right. Next cycle. We're doing 30 seconds, circling around to the left, and then 30 seconds to the right. 30 seconds. Here we go. Big circles around to the left to release everything. You can take these fast. You can take them slow. Just keep moving. There really is not a huge benefit to going fast here. I'd rather you get a little bit more depth in your range of motion. So instead of just like this, we're getting really into it. This is not a hula. Good. Last 10. Then we're going the other way. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Move around. Great. Woo. <laughs> Getting into the hips, getting into the spine. Last 10. See if you can make them even bigger. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Next 30 seconds. Arms up. Big stretch over to the right. Hang out. Our 23rd cycle. We chill here. Let the weight of the upper body pull you even to that deeper into that stretch. Feel the muscle release. Ooh, good. Last 10. And nice and slowly roll up to stand. Both arms up. This time over to the left. 30 seconds. Hold into it. Last cycle. You can let your head hang. You can kind of rock into it if that feels good. Last 10. And when you're ready, slowly roll up to stand. Hands together. We're done. <laughs> Steve? I turn it over to you. Thank you very much. Same, same question as before. Um, what uh, could we have done differently to make it more difficult and more easy or easier? Anybody? Just unmute yourself or put it in the chat. So I know my, my limitations are when my knees start popping and there's moments of pain. So, I, so that's not an answer of your question, but it's a, I stop myself. So yes. I, I don't Good. know that how Good. would I go further? It would only be when my knees don't give me that message. But Yeah. So again, because no, otherwise I look a lower, I go, gosh, I'd like to go lower. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Jim, go lower. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't hurt yourself. It doesn't matter. 
it ultimately doesn't matter. Do what feels right. <laughs> yes. Okay. Eventually, I'd like to get lower to make it harder, but I also could have gone faster, I think. <laughs> would, the, would the faster have made it easier for you or harder for you? No, it would have made it harder for me because I give out cardio-wise. I got it. Okay. For me, it was um, more intense than usual just because I tightened my bands more tightly. And that was really helpful, the instruction you gave about tightening the bands. Okay. Uh, Jeff and George? Yep, yeah, uh, sure, I'll, uh, I'll go. Um, well, look, I really like aligning to more sort of katsu exercise and aligning with the cycles. Like that just makes all kinds of sense. If you're gonna put a product out there, have the training follow the cycles, unless you're in training mode. If we do follow the cycles during these workouts, then it would be helpful to have a prompt of when we should all start the cycles so that we're in sync, because most of the time my cycle was not aligned with Laurel's cycle. Okay, that's good. And Laura, we'll just give the signal, everybody turn on <laughs> or something like that. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, you missed it. Okay, you got to just join us tomorrow. That's it. You're done. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, it makes sense at least to start. Sometimes I know my cycle will stop in the middle of doing the exercise. So I think we're going to have to figure out the timing a little bit better. Um, but I think there's, there's potential there. I just need to think about it. And, and also, it, if you have extra large bands and you have a higher pressure, there's a lot of air that needs to go in. And once it reaches the specific point, then the 30 seconds begin. If you have a small band and you have a low pressure, not that much air gets in, and therefore it, it, those 30 seconds starts quicker. So there's, there's a big differential between extra large bands and a lot of pressure and little bands and a little pressure. So, but at so least, that, like, go ahead. I was gonna say, so that means we can never all be in sync. So we should take that into account into the workout. So it's not like start the next set now or, you know, I don't know how to you think about that, but if we're not in sync, it's really difficult if the leader is at one pace and like everyone else is at a different one. Yeah. So it might be just like, okay, when your next cycle comes, do this or, you know, whenever. And then are we and all I done? Totally, okay, now we have yeah, time in between, reset, let's all start, that, that kind of thing. I think when Laurel today was talking about the cycles, it was like the amount of times we were doing the certain exercise, not necessarily the katsu cycles, but I'm not sure. Is that what you were talking so about? Technically, you want to try and do it with your cycles. Yeah. So we did like the 24 cycles, like mimicking the cycles of the bands, but the way we did it, is actually was like our own cycle. I think that's been the biggest challenge for me the whole time in teaching a group is we've always done time and not like notice we've never done like, hey guys, do 40 push ups, 30 push ups, 20 push ups. It's always been time because how do you time everyone's rate, you know? And so that's the biggest, that's the hardest thing with like the actual cycles is the timing will always be different for each person. Um, but if people think of ways to help mitigate that, I'm all ears. That's just always been a really big hurdle for me of like, well, if I tell everyone to do say 20 push-ups, it's all going to be at different speeds. You know, people's cycles are going to be similar, but I hear you. <laughs> I bet George has a solution. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have a solution. I just have an observation. You know, when I do, you know, a SADA workout myself, I really don't pay attention to when the cyclings are cycling on and off. I just do, you know, 30, 40 reps on the first set, whatever it is to failure. And then I wait 15 seconds and do the next set to failure. And I'm not really paying attention to my, you know, having to do the exertion when the pressure is on. I'm just like, it, it all happens. And it, you know, it seems to make, it seems to work out okay, even though it's not, um, not every exertion is under pressure. Uh, and so that you're doing that uh, with both the training mode and in the cycle mode. Well, or, either way. Either way, yeah. I mean, sometimes I do. I mean, yeah. A lot of times I just do training mode, but a lot of times I do cycle mode, and it doesn't really matter because I still fail. 
which yeah. I think is the point. Right. And it doesn't, you know, it, it, the fact that I'm doing some of the exertion under, you know, when it's, when the pressure is released, yeah. doesn't seem to matter. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. That's just, no, no, that's, that's very good. Very good. When, when you are training with Dr. Sato in the cycle, he does exactly what you're doing. There's, you know, that five seconds rest and the one or two seconds it, it takes to deflate and the three or four seconds it takes to, to right. uh, inflate. He's, he's not, he's not saying stop. He's, you just keep on going. To and, and I noticed, I mean, you, what you were just saying about more air and stuff like this time, I, you know, I had my base pressure cranked as hard as I could and I had it on, you know, maximum pressure. You yeah. know, it was, it was in cycle mode, but still maximum pressure. So it, you know, my cycles are taking a long time to, yeah, you know, oscillate. Are and you large or extra large bands? These are large bands. Okay, yeah. So you, you got a lot of air get going in those things, especially around the uh, leg. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're large. No, they're actually yeah, they're uh, they're medium bands actually. Okay. okay. Uh, and uh, but still, I mean, at that. And I still have some kind of a leak I've never figured out, but it still is, I mean, it's a minor deal that, so it's, it, it keeps applying the pressure. But anyways, um, uh, the other thing is you were asking about making it harder. Near, I think this kind of exercise is, is more difficult. Uh, I mean, you can make it easier by not probably going as low. Uh, and I think again, as Jim's point with your knees, you know, I'm, I'm a, I have 65 year old knees too. Uh, you know, going lower is, you know, harder for the knees sometimes. And so that's a, that makes it more difficult for this particular exercise. And, and in, in, at least in my experience, I failed on the push-ups. I mean, I, you know, I, I got to failure pretty easily, not on something like this. And I think it's harder to fail the legs, my experience. Yeah, it is. It is. Well, thank you very much all. This is, this is invaluable um, input. And, and I know Laura and myself are taking uh, note on all of these things that it truly is invaluable so thank you very much all right we'll see you tomorrow all right bye thank you thank you bye -bye. Bye -bye.